Okay, boys and girls, back on it. And the farm all. Farm all M. Still trying to get her unseized, so we've been doinking around with some magical formulas. And now I'm going to try yeah, evapo rust. So we'll see if that, that's the magic or not. See if we can get that to work. I'm going to pull the plugs. I'm going to suck out if there's any oil left because I don't think the apple rust and oil are going to get along. So we'll see what's going on over there. I still got to get this. I want to get this alternator off and see if I can unseize it. It's seized right now. This is the last thing we're going to do before I decide whether or not to pull the head. Likely, if I can't get it to bump using the evapo rust, then that's going to be the end of the story for that, and we'll pull the head off. I just wanted to see what I could get done in the interim. Because uh, I'd really like to do it without pulling the head, and you just kind of know why, right? Just pulling the head sucks. Give me a minute here, and I'm gonna try to get this set up. While you're waiting for me to, to check this, can you please hit the like, subscribe, the like button, and then maybe subscribe to the channel, because it's helping with the algorithms, and the more subscribers we got, the higher up we go in the searches. And when people are looking for content, they'll find us. So that's the idea behind that. Stand by. So. Put a couple of few ounces of, I don't know what that is, two, three ounces of evaporust in there. And this is going to be the soak for a few more days. I'm using a syringe I bought off of Amazon because this thing's just super handy. Duck, see if it can unstick it without wrecking it. Usually That's the best piece on that machine is that wire. Look how nice that is. That thing's amazing. Throw some evapo rust on there. What's the worst that could happen? It's evapo rust. It's water. It's not water. That's evapo rust. Is it water based? I don't know what it is. It's probably vinegar based. Who knows? White vinegar is another try too, eh? Okay. I'm gonna get you some penetrating oil before you flare that nut up and bolt. Okay. So we got that shit in there. The magic. Uh, Evapo rust. I'll get you some uh, penetrating. We'll stand by. Here we go. <laughs> he comes in with his fucking no, going nuclear. Watch the Fs. Oh, hey, sorry. here we go. So we pulled the alternator off of that tractor just because. And uh, we're going to prove it to you. There's voltage. Hold on, Sean. I'm going to get the alternator spinning. Sean's going to apply ground. Jake's holding the, the, the leads, leads on. So this is an SI-15, so it's got self-exciting because it's got the block-offs. You can see the block-offs there for the field and the uh, whatever. Okay. Well, we're spinning it. 
Here, here and hunker down, and off gone. You can hear the RPM change. There's the voltage. She's a good battery, or a good alternator. So there, so we, we rescued the alternator off that tractor, unseized it, got it out of the bracket, and it's known to be good. Well, we couldn't wait any further. So we wanted to take the valve cover off. See what the hell's hiding under there. Okay, Sean, let's get this valve cover off. So you guys will be the first to see it with us. Oh, that ain't that bad. Look at that. Not bad at all. There's no damage in there. A little bit of valve lash there. She was clacky, a little bit there. Actually, she needs a little bit of valve adjustment. We'll go with that. There's a hammer. We still, it's still stuck, but this is a positive. This is a really good positive. Nope. Yep, good. 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 Stuck. Ah, a little bit. A little stuck, a little bit. A little sticky. Where's the WD? Is that penetrating oil on your side? PB blaster? No, that's brake clean. Yeah. I don't know if I can get it. Which one was it? This guy right here. That's plastic. Stuck too. Stuck. That one's not. Get some penetrating oil in there. No, there we no. go. It's loose. Like brand new. Brand new. It's stuck. Um, it's There's, stuck? That's jammed. That's a jam valve, and that's maybe what's holding this motor. Huh. That could be contributing to the lock up. No, I see some bounce in it though. Yeah. I think I see bounce in it. Here, give that a love give that some love. Yeah. It's not jammed full load on there now it's in the down position that's the exhaust so this is the bad cylinder that's why that had the most corroded spark plug yes also. this had the most corroded spark plug 100 percent oh this is looking good already she'll run again we're pulling the head i think that's the only way definitely pulling the head honing some cylinders Yeah, I think so too. So at least, uh, at least this was good news. It isn't all full of corrosion in the rocker box. I was worried about it under the valve cover because uh, there's no seals on these studs, and this this was all exposed to the rain. That was had me of great concern. Very clean drill. Very clean. I don't see no no sign of. Uh, I don't even see any sign of sludge. So that's a good thing. So yeah, there is a little bit of hope. There's a glimmer of hope. Hmm. Definitely. So we'll let the uh, the juice sit in there for a while. We threw some... Uh, does it, what is that stuff? Rust be gone and rust away. Uh, evapo rust. So evapo rust. I'll try and see what that does. Anything. We're gonna, we could try different things. CLR. Uh, 25%, 25% strength white vinegar, that's supposed to work. Anything that's acidic. And, uh, cleaning vinegar is pretty acidic. So right now we're going to 
we'll try that see what happens we're gonna have some fun with this ignition system I can tell you that but we'll get to it um, yeah this is gonna be a fun one to get going again but we'll do it we got the little bugger up we moved the lawnmower with it or the bush hog with it to get cut some grass so we had to move some stuff around so we think that thing's running pretty decent for a wrecked carburetor that's the TEA, the Ferguson there. Yeah, it's running okay. Anyway, we're gonna get put this back on for now and then uh, we'll come back to it later. I wanna take that exhaust out so I can put the hood back on and keep the rain out. Not that it's gonna make the world's a big difference, but it is what it is and that's the way it should be. And you saw we got the alternator up and running. So that's a good thing. So a couple of positives. symmetrical it does not appear to be symmetrical no. it's got a straight edge and an oval that hard hard turn it around I don't think no wait a minute can you see there's braze on the end right okay so that's in the right way had it right. you had it right because there was brazing on the end so we're gonna have to get a hold if we get this thing on seas we'll be getting a hold of Sue and get some parts for it we'll see how good she is with the uh, with the okay. farm all farm all parts anyway that's it for today like subscribe ring the bell check back often and uh, we'll see how the progress goes on the uh, farm all farm all m international harvester talk to you soon